What do you know about the rivalry? How, how far back do you know stuff? Mm, I actually, I just found out the other day, I'm not sure if it's accurate or not, but I found out that it actually started from a, like a bar fight between a Louisville fan and a Memphis fan. That's what I heard. So I think that's the furthest back that it goes right there. <laughs> <laughs> a bar fight. That's what I was told. Somebody said it was a bar fight between a Louisville fan and a Memphis fan. They said that's where it started. Going to be a bar fight on the court? Oh, no, sir. No, sir. Or definitely two universities. Um, we're schools, people look up to us, we can't do things like that, no sir. But it's going to be expected to be physical. Oh yes yeah, sir, it's, it's definitely it's going to be a tough game, it's going to be a physical game. Um, of course everybody's going to play their hardest because both teams want to win, it's going to be a great game for both of us. Do you look at this as a different game or do you try to approach it as they're just another opponent? They're just another opponent, I mean they're a great ball club, but you can't look at a team, you can't you basically got to look at all teams the same, whether they're teams you feel less of an opponent than you or a greater opponent, you still got to go play the game and you got to prepare, you got to focus and do everything the same and just prepare for the next game because the next game is the most important game. But is the importance more because, you know, in terms of and things you have to think about in terms of later on in the selection committee and things of that nature? Yes, sir. Does game have a high priority? It, it, it definitely does. It weighs more because, once again, they're a ranked team and, um, we still haven't got a win against a ranked opponent, but you know there's uh, opportunities. We have another opportunity on Saturday, and if we take care of business and do everything we're supposed to, we can definitely come home and win. Do you feel like you guys are starting to figure out your identities a little better now that you've gotten two or three <coughs> solid wins? Um, I wouldn't say that. I'd just say that we're, we're starting to focus on what's more important. Everybody's starting to see what it takes to win games. Basically, you just got to be able to come in the game, focus, playing hard, and just ready to play from the get-go, and then things will add on, and we'll start to do better and better, and things will take off from there. What do you remember about the game last year up at Louisville? Um, I actually, I didn't get to go on that trip with the team, but I remember that we lost. It was a close game, and we had a few chances late in the game to win the game, but we didn't come home to win. How much have you guys studied Louisville so far? Um, right, so far we've been just preparing like a, a regular team. We've just been focusing on defense and rebounding and offense and going through plays and making sure everything's crisp. So when we start to go through scout team and preparing for Louisville, everything will be right on point. So you guys really haven't dug into them too much then? No, sir. DJ, who is the all-energy team for this, for this uh, squad? Um, I'm not sure exactly which group is the most energized. I just know that every game I just try to come in, play my hardest, provide the biggest spark that I possibly can coming off the bench and do everything in my power to help my team win again. Coach said that in practices with the communication is going to be really key in this game. Uh, do you believe that? And is it is it natural for you guys to, to talk on the court? I mean, communication is always important in games. But in big games, it's, um, it's more important because the arena is sold out. The fans are going to be loud. Um, you're going to have to communicate to your teammates, let them know what's going on. But um, for us, we've struggled in the past with communicating. But this, uh, this year, so far, we've done a, a lot better job of communicating with each other on the floor, and it's shown. Is it, is it more important on offense or defense, or equally as important on both? It's equally important because um, sometimes things aren't going to be perfect in the game. You're going to have mix-ups. So basically, if you just communicate with your teammate, it makes it seem like that was supposed to happen. In some of the other kind of big games you guys have had, do you think sometimes you guys have maybe shot too many threes too soon? and there needs to be more focus on, you know, proving you can, you know, drive and go to the rim first and then just kind of let the, the threes come. Um, the best game plan that we can just have going into any game offensively is just playing team basketball. Um, the open man is the go-to man. Um, making the extra pass. Um, of course, driving, collecting two def uh, defenders and kicking for the open man is always going to help. But just playing team basketball is the biggest thing that you can go to in games like these. It sounds like Gordy Jang's going to be out on Saturday. Does that affect your all's game plan? Um, not at all. I mean, we're still going to uh, prepare for him. Still, still a big game for us, so we're still going to prepare for him and just come and unexpected, uh, expect the unexpected. Do you all use the fact that you haven't beaten a top 25 team yet as motivation for a game like this on Saturday? Um, I look at it as um, motivation because me, I've been here four years, and since I've been here, I haven't beat a top 25 team. So, of course, before I leave, I want to beat multiple top 25 teams, but 
Um, you can't really look at it like that because you start to get too many things on your mind and go into a game, you can't have too much on your mind because that's when you start to make mistakes. So you just have to go in the game, just prepare for what you're supposed to do and then take that from there. Do you find that the beard helps you on your goals? No, actually, I've been hearing a lot about my beard lately. People have been saying it's getting extremely long. Um, the only reason I really have it is because without it, I look like a 13-year-old boy. So <laughs> that's why I have to have some sort of facial hair to make me look like more of a man. But I was actually going to trim it before the game because I, I actually looked at it and it is getting pretty long. <laughs>